Dear faculty members, uh, Sakharai Bay University, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, I am Dr. Sher Mohamad Daud Pota. Uh, today, uh, I am going to record a video to brief you about my experience of uh, offering an online course at Sakharai Bay University as well as to share with you everything that you need in order to offer an online course at, at Sakharai Bay University. Uh, I've been offering my course Object Oriented Programming and for past two weeks I've been doing it uh, online by using LMS and uh, different other tools including Zoom and ShareX. Uh, so I thought it's the uh, right time to share with you all these important resources. Uh, I can assure you if you uh, attend these 30-40 minutes video, you will be able to get a grip a very reasonable grip on all these tools which are required for recording a video which are required for conducting a zoom meeting and which are required for efficiently using learning management system at Sakharai University. So let's start. Uh, to start with uh, first of all I think our IT team uh, Zafar, Maher, uh, Fahad these guys have already shared with you uh, how to log in LMS. Uh, you have to do nothing you just need to uh, go to a url uh, let me go to log out from my account uh, you you have to be here lms.iba-acuk.edu.pk lms.iba-acuk.edu.pk once you are here if you have already logged into your lms you should have your user password but those who have not used lms before they should use this option forgotten your user and password once if you do that uh, here you need to provide your email address and when you provide email address you will get uh, your uh, an instruction on your email how to reset your password on LMS right okay now once if you have recovered your user password on LMS you need to log in uh, I have already remembered in my browser so uh, my username and then my password I log in now remember when you log in um, IT team has already done a good job they have already created courses for you uh, you will see these courses for example in this semester I'm offering object oriented programming right now when you go inside your course you will see this screen now because I've been very extensively using LMS throughout the semester so you can see under each week uh, there are many many activities right uh, you can see but you might see uh, an interface like this uh, all these weeks but they may be empty so <clears throat> when you log in and when you see uh, all these weeks inside your LMS the next thing that you should do is click on this which is to turn edit on uh, this button is used to turn edit on and turn edit off right you will turn it on when you want to upload your lecture when you want to upload quiz when you want to upload assignment whatever edit you want to uh, do on your LMS you need to turn it on so I turn it on when you turn it on uh, see the difference uh, this button will appear under each week aid and activity you can see under each week this aid and activity uh, link will appear so you can see under each week this link is appearing right you will have to see which week you are presently in for example we are uh, inside this week March 29 to uh, 4th April uh, so you probably need to uh, click aid and activity under this link you can see my previous weeks are also uh, having all these uh, different activities available uh, because I've been doing it on uh, LMS for past two weeks to conduct my classes. Now, when this edit is on, what you can do? Uploading a lecture. Uploading a lecture file on LMS. This might be your first thing to do. You have already uh, prepared, say for example, a PowerPoint and you want to up upload that lecture or file on LMS. How to do that? Uh, you will click aid and activity aid and activity you click on that and then these are the you know list of activities that you can conduct here because you want to upload a file a kind of powerpoint or lecture in any 
other file type so you can click on file and then you add right when you click on add here you provide name to the lecture remember this name that you provide it will appear under the week so i can write here lecture uh, lec lecture one right and description whatever description you want to provide uh, this is this is just a taste lecture that i am uploading for faculty understanding right so i can now remember when you click this this description will also appear with the name but if you do not check it then this description will not appear right now <coughs> here you need, you need to uh, select the file you need to upload the file remember uh, when you want to upload the file there are multiple options but one of the option is uh, you can upload a file uh, from your google drive right so i can upload file from my google drive you need to log in to your account so in order to log in your account if you have already remembered your uh, IBS email it will appear here you just click on that uh, now you are logged in now when you are logged in your drive file should appear here right so you can see here these are all the files which are coming from my google drive right so inside this i've got lectures uh, inside lectures i have this powerpoint already available right but if you might not have your lecture available uh, inside the powerpoint uh, on the on the drive so what you need to do you need to upload a file on your drive so how to do that uh, you come into your inbox uh, and then to your drive right when you come to your drive my drive is always full but you might look like different so here i have got this lectures uh, folder i can go inside this lectures folder and here you just right, right click and upload file so when you click upload file this will take you uh, to you know uh, local drive and from here uh, you can upload anything so you can see i'm, I'm going to up upload faculty lms guide eh? so this file is being uploaded uh, when this gets uploaded it should be available here right so when this gets uploaded it should be available here when it is available here then you can see it from here right so uh, this file is now available here right okay so i can just refresh it uh, okay just refresh when i refresh this file now should be available under lecture when it is available i can upload it right so you can see faculty lms guide which i just uploaded on my drive is available here so you can click on that and then you can select this file and now this is being uploaded on my lms so lecture one under this lecture one this powerpoint file is available there are multiple other options uh, just i don't want to make things complicated so you can ignore all of them save and display uh, so now you can see here inside your uh, code inside your uh, subject when you come to this week you will see that you can see here this lecture one is now available right remember this is available to students as well if you want to see how it will appear to students uh, there is a one beautiful thing that you can do here switch role to you as a faculty member are logged in but you can also uh, switch to the role of a student so when you switch to the role of a student you can see here no more they can edit uh, this edit option is no more available there right but then you can see they can see the lecture and when they click on the lecture when they click on the lecture it will open into powerpoint right they can save it they can open into powerpoint okay i come back to my normal role and then i turn edit on when you turn edit on now you can include any resource inside this week okay so you have seen how to upload the lecture file on lms the second thing is uh, usually when you are in distance mode you would like to have either synchronous interaction with the student or asynchronous 
Asan Corona's interaction is you would like to record your video the way I am recording at the moment. You record your video and then make it available uh, to the students. So for recording video, uh, there are hundreds of tools available. But the one which I like most, it is this ShareX. Uh, ShareX is uh, uh, freely available. You can use a ShareX to record your videos. And recording a video in ShareX is a straightforward. You just download it, uh, uh, right in Google, download ShareX. It will take you to the download page. Download that file. It's a simple executable. Double click on that. It will be installed on your machine. And when it is installed on your machine, uh, you will have uh, a shortcut available on your desktop. You can see here, this ShareX shortcut is available on the desktop. You just click on that. When you click on that, because currently it is running, uh, so you will click on workflow and then start or stop a screen recording. You click it to start a screen recording and then you click it when you stop recording. I am recording my video by using this share X, so I cannot click at the moment because otherwise recording will stop. But it's a simple thing. When you click on a start, it will start recording and when you click it, if, if recording is already in progress, it will stop the recording. Right. Remember one thing. When you download it first time, you will have to do probably this thing. Inside task, uh, when you come to a screen recorder uh, and then you go to a screen recording option. Here, audio source is initially none. But you will have to select it, internal microphone. If you want to record your... Uh, uh, machines mic your computer's mic then you will have to select this option because otherwise by default it does not record audio it only records a screen but if you want to record audio as well then you will have to come to this option and this option is available from task setting and then a screen recorder and then a screen recording option and this option is available here so you have to be absolutely sure that your mic is also recording your voice Right, so when you click this option inside workflow, start, start, start recording, uh, you click it first time, it will start recording of your screen as well as your audio. And when, when you are done with the video lecture, you just uh, click on the uh, stop and then it will stop the recording. And when you stop the recording, it will uh, save your file um, and then you can just, you know, upload that file to the YouTube. Right. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that you have recorded your audio and uh, your, your overall video and when that video has been recorded and now you want to upload it on YouTube. Right, so that recording will come in this format. Uh, you can see here, this, these are the two videos which I have recorded. Uh, so the next step is to, you know, upload your lecture on uh, either YouTube or again on Drive, wherever you want to. If you want to upload it on Drive, again, it is a simple thing as we did in the uh, last step. You come to your Drive, say for example inside Drive here, you want to create a folder. Uh, maybe you want to create a new folder and you call it video, uh, video like this, right? You can create a folder, video lectures, and then you go inside this, and then you say upload file, right? And the videos where you actually uh, recorded your video, you just double click on that, and uh, it will be uploaded, right? That's an MP4 file. It means it's a video file. You upload that file on your drive. Now when this is available on the drive, you will come back here. Now you want to make it available on LMS. Right. Remember, uh, you have to make it available online, uh, either on drive or on YouTube or any other, you know, online video hosting website where you can uh, keep the video. Now once if your video is available online, you again add an activity and here you will click Previously you clicked on file, but now you will click on URL, right? You click on URL, you come here and then you say, say for example, it's a video um, lecture one, whatever name you give it, video lecture one, right? 
and then here you will have to uh, give link to the file now link to the file is actually uh, you get from here uh, you get shareable link right so you get this is the link that you can copy this is the link that you can see here copy link uh, done uh, copy link then it is done and then uh, this will come here right uh, this has been copied and then here you can give some description this is my video lecture for faculty of Sakhar IBA University whatever description you want to give right now once if you have done this then save it when you save it now it has been uploaded where you wanted it to be you can see here now this video lecture is also available when a student clicks on that he or she will actually see that video so you can see here uh, this video has been uh, was uploaded now they can see it okay great <clears throat> and by the way you can also upload your video on YouTube if you want to make it public then you can also upload it on YouTube for example you can come to the YouTube uh, if you just click on this upload a video if you have already a YouTube channel the way I have then it will take you to your channel but if you do not have then it will ask you for sign in uh, on my machine I have already signed out so I can now sign in uh, indeed I have to use my this email address so you will log in to uh, your account with another account share Khalil yes uh, the password when you log in because I have already created uh, I think it has some issue presently running anyway you can make it available on YouTube or you can make it available on Google Drive and then you can uh, work with that <coughs> okay so your video lecture has been recorded it has been made available on the LMS uh, you have uploaded on YouTube or Drive making lecture available on LMS you have already seen it the next step is to upload an assignment okay so for uploading an assignment you will again uh, go to this area uh, I'm going to uh, delete it otherwise my students will be confused what this video lecture is about I'm going to delete this one as well right okay now again I uh, add an activity I come here add an assignment right adding an assignment uh, is the next topic Aid assignment the assignment you know title uh, for example I say uh, this is about uh, uh, concepts of object oriented programming right here you need to give complete detail of the assignment remember this is the this is the detail that will go inside the assignment so I say in this assign assignment you have to uh, explain the basic concept of basic concepts of object oriented programming right programming and its three basic principles right whatever you write you can also upload any file here right it's up to you remember this is the title of the assignment and this is the text of the assignment it can be one page or two pages whatever you want to right and you can also upload a separate file maybe a PDF a word file whichever file you make available on the Google Drive you can upload that file as an assignment file as well right up to you now here availability you will have to uh, make it available immediately then you can just disable it it will be available immediately 
but if you say no if you say no it should be available from march 30 onward then you can set the date right so this is available from you can see here you can see 30th of march and then you say submission deadline uh, maybe you can say march or uh, april 5 these two dates are important right and then here is another beautiful option that will you can say it to ask lms to remind you to grade your assignment right and and then you can also uh, say it few restriction for example uh, do you still need to upload a file for submitting assignment or you can uh, accept online text i mean in that case they will actually be uh, provided with a text area and do you want word limit maybe yes you say i say 1000 words and you say you will not accept a separate file rather it should be submitting assignment uh, in, in, as an online text and you say 1000 word is the limit right there are many other things uh, you can uh, play with those uh, many maximum grade 100 points a uh, lot of other things are available but you can uh, study it on your own and then save and display when you do that uh, <coughs> you can see your assignment is now available on lms right so you can see this is the concept of object only programming now you want to see how it will appear to a student uh, again you can switch your role switch role as a student and this is how it will appear to a student right so as this one i want to submit assignment i will click on this and then i will say aid submission you can see here uh, here is the assignment question which you wrote and here a uh, student will write the answer and when they save changes for example uh, here is a student answer right save changes when a student saves changes and uh, then he can uh, edit submission again or then he can submit it right so this is a student side uh, and then you come back uh, when you as a faculty want to grade it you can see here return to my normal role and you want to grade it there is some background noise <coughs> okay so as a faculty member you want to grade it so you will go inside you can see you will have an option of grade when you grade it presently you know not many students have submitted the assignment but if there is then you 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 will see the student name and then list of the student then you can grade out of 100 right okay so this is the uh, assignment section i again remove it otherwise my student will get confused so uh, yeah in order to remove it i will have to turn edit on right when i turn edit on now i can uh, delete it okay great so we have now so far learned recording our video for asynchronous mode uh, we have learned uh, making lecture available on lms we have learned making assignment available on lms the next exciting thing is the quiz remember this quiz is uh, not only in a scope when you are teaching online but even when you are teaching face to face uh, this LMS thing is fantastic it's just extremely complimenting conducting quiz as a faculty member I know that you prepare a quiz then take a print out uh, bring that it to classroom this one will do paper pencil test you bring back to your office and do a lot of assessment it takes a lot of time and it's killer when you've got maybe 80 or 100 students then even checking MCQs is a nightmare. So I, I, I really encourage you people to use LMS not only for your uh, distance education courses but also for your face-to-face -face courses because it is quite complimenting even in your face-to-face -face interaction. Right, so here I am going to add a quiz. So when you click on quiz, right, make sure make sure that your edit is on when your edit is on you add an activity when you add activity you can see here i have a quiz option i can click on quiz 
8 right uh, name of the quiz it is actually the title i say uh, this is a quiz about pakistan eh? maybe pakistan uh, studies quiz so this is a description this is a quiz that tests students uh, that test students knowledge about pakistan right simple okay now once if it is done here you need to provide the timing now remember you can make this quiz uh, available for response immediately or you can set a time say for example you you create quiz today and you would like that quiz to be conducted tomorrow so you you say quiz will be open say for example on i say on monday i mean tomorrow okay march 30 and you say it will be available from uh, it will be available from 10 am it will be available from 10 am right and you say it will be available uh, from 10 am uh, till say for example 11 am right so you say this quiz will be available for one hour from 10 am to till 11 am and you say that the actual timing for the quiz will be 10 minutes right so you make this quiz available for one hour so that a student can attend it from 11 to 12 but if we attempt at 11 uh, it is 10 minutes quiz so inside 10 minutes it will be automatically uh, you know submitted so 10 minutes quiz 20 minutes quiz one hour quiz whatever you want right so this time limit is actually the time when a student uh, logs in opens the quiz and within 10 minutes it will be automatically submitted right great you want um, you, you really don't need to uh, touch it there are review options yeah review options are important because would you like to show answer to the student when they submit so after quiz is closed right answer do you want to display them uh, you want to give feedback for every question you want to show them their marks you say yes i i want to uh, or, or maybe sometimes you say i do not want this option because uh, if a student is appearing at 11 a and when he submits he will see all the right answers and you are fearing that he or she might be sharing all these uh, right answers with his colleagues so in that case you might uncheck this right okay save and display when you do that it will bring you here right now say this quiz will not be available until monday 30 this quiz will close on monday 30 and time limit is 10 minutes grading method is the highest grade it means there are multiple attempts and uh, the grade which will be given to the student is from the highest grade now obviously we have not so far added questions to this quiz so you will edit quiz when you edit quiz uh, you say shuffle all the questions for all the students right if you have got 10 questions they will be all the time being randomized for uh, different students of your class right so you want to add a question you click here add a question now what is the question type that you want to add a uh, multiple choice right you say i want to add multiple choice question so it brings you here this should be question number right and then this should be question uh, what is the capital city of Pakistan right so this is your question it is multiple choice you uh, forget about these things come to the answers right so here is your choice number one uh, you say the capital city for Pakistan is Karachi uh, the capital city for Pakistan is Islamabad uh, our capital city for Pakistan is uh, Hyderabad this is twice four or this is another twice my own city Nasapur eh? okay now remember these are the four options that we are providing and obviously this is the correct option which is Islamabad so as a faculty member you will choose the correct option and that correct option should be given 100% right it means that it's a kind of key that you are going to uh, input to the LMS uh, for our two grading right so here what is the capital city of pakistan karachi islamabad nasarpur or hyderabad and to the correct option you have given 100 percent it's a kind of usage this is the right option uh, you can have 
choice number five you can also add three more choices up to you i do not want to make it too complicated for you and then save changes right so question number one has been added you want to preview it you can click here uh, this is how it will appear to a student what is capital city of pakistan a b c d right uh, you can add another question add a new question uh, another i say multiple choice right again multiple choice this is question number two uh, when say for example when pakistan got uh, independence right when pakistan got independence uh, you know again a multiple choice question you say 1947 remember these choices are also randomized so you can always uh, it's up to you you can always uh, write your right choice here but system will randomize these choices for you right so 1947 is the right option so i select 100 percent now you can say uh, inside 1900 or maybe 1800 right uh, maybe 1946 whatever you want right so four choices again save it you want to see how it looks like you can preview you can see this is how it will appear right <clears throat> inside same quiz uh, you can also add a new question of true false type right so you can write here question number three and you say uh, pakistan's capital is islamabad right okay uh, and then here you just need to write the right correct option it's a key yeah yeah it's true it's true so again save it so this third option you can again preview it pakistan's capital is islamabad true or false right and then you can add another question maybe another true false right and then you can write here uh, for example sakhar is a district right again you can see this is a question of true false type it is true right and then you can save it right okay so in this quiz i have added four items uh, maybe i say the total marks are four save it you can add as many as you want right now once if this is done uh, you know that i have set a time that this quiz will open tomorrow i can you can see when i come back here as a faculty member i can see this quiz is available huh? you can name it anything uh, you can also preview it right you as a faculty member can start attempt uh, this is how student will be doing it start attempt you can see the first question uh, the quiz is now currently available but as a faculty member you can preview it sakhar is a district you can see this question is not the first that we added but it is appearing first because system is randomizing it so i say it's true as a faculty member you should do the preview so that if there is any mistake you can correct it so you know that this is true pakistan is uh, pakistan capital islamabad that's also true and then you say pakistan got independence in 1947 that's also true right and then what is the capital city of pakistan uh, you say islamabad uh, finish attempt it will ask for a warning here you want to submit yes when it is done you can see the answer is correct 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 you can see uh, this is how students will uh, experience it and you as a faculty member when you did a preview you also kind of double check if your all questions are correct if your options are correct right now remember when students uh, uh, appear in the quiz they will be auto graded you will be provided with a beautiful report that will show you things like those i can show you my inheritance quiz this quiz i conducted uh, day before yesterday 81 students uh, appeared when i come to results you can see here when students have completed the attempt you will come here to see results right so you can see all students results these are all the students who appeared in my quiz you can see and the beautiful thing is it will show you all the averages you know you can see overall averages 7.90 
in this question it is 0.68 average in this question 0.89 so this will also tell you that this question was probably very hard question and uh, maybe uh, this question is was very easy everyone attempted it correctly or maybe this one is extremely easy all attempted it correctly so you know that these sort of states are is also available in front of you right all these students of mine they uh, attempted this quiz i think day before yesterday so when students complete their quiz result is are automatically available to you and by the way you can also export it you can export it in any in any any form you want to okay uh, so that's the quiz section in your lms uh, i remove this quiz from here because i do not want my student to get confused what dr shere has uploaded on object oriented programming they might start attempting it okay i delete it great so conducting a quiz has also been done and then setting up a zoom meeting you know this is another very important section uh, asynchronous perfect uh, you just record video make it available on youtube or on your drive and provide link on your lms that's asynchronous but when when you have got this asynchronous mode then you would also like to have uh, a sun synchronous interaction with your student you would like to have live interaction with your student if you want to have live interaction with your student then zoom is a very good option uh, let us see how to create a zoom activity let us see how we aid an activity to record uh, to set up a zoom meeting with your student you add an activity you click on uh, external tool when you click on external tool you have got here an option of aid right uh, here you will have to give the activity name i say zoom meeting for faculty demo you will select option of zoom right when this is done you just save it and when you save it you will be provided with this screen Now in this screen, this is a kind of Zoom screen. You will sign in, right? When you sign in, you will be brought to the next screen. Now, because I have already installed Zoom on my machine, so I can see, you know, this screen. If you have not installed, you should install it. You say schedule a meeting. When you click on schedule a meeting, meeting name, uh, you know, Zoom meeting on, you know, faculty demo, right? you can provide here description and then you say when you want to conduct this meeting right i say i'm conducting this meeting on march 29 1 pm and you say it will be probably a two hour meeting three hour meeting whatever you want make sure that you are providing the correct time zone gmt plus 5 it is for pakistan right uh, you want to provide video yeah participants video is on yes uh recording computer audio if you have got separate you know for telephone voice but that does not make sense here it's quite an old thing and then meeting options enable join before host i do not want because i say i should be the first participant when this meeting opens this is important record the meeting automatically on local computer it is quite important and then uh, i think all other options are okay but this is also important mute your participant upon entry because if you are having 100 different and if all of them have turned their mics on it will be a good nightmare so you as a host want to make sure that all other mic is turned off and you can turn them on when they raise hand okay now you save it when you save it uh, you will see that a meeting id will be created this is the only thing that you need to provide to your student meeting id Six five five nine four five seven six four. It is a meeting ID. You need to provide this meeting ID to your student. It, it could be through, uh, you know, uh, if you have got a WhatsApp group for your student, or it can also be through, you know, by sending a message by using LMS. I'll tell you how to send message by using LMS, but you can also uh, use LMS messaging service to share uh, this ID. Right. 
Now once if this is done, when it is 1 p.m., you will just come here and start this meeting. It will automatically start. Rest of the things are extremely, uh, you know, a common sense. I don't need to uh, go to all those options in detail. Otherwise, this will be, will be very long. Uh, those are as easy as, you know, opening a video on YouTube. Right. So when it is time, you will uh, come back here and start the meeting. Okay. Uh, when this is done, uh, you will come back to your LMS and you will see that uh, when you come back to LMS, uh, you will see that your Zoom meeting should also be available here. So you can see Zoom meeting for faculty demo. I'm again going to remo remove it from here, otherwise my screen will be confused. Okay, I remove this from my uh, LMS. Zoom meeting has been set up. Conducting a feedback se section, this is also important. I mean, sometimes you would like to get feedback from a student. So you can click again at activity. You can get feedback on your lecture. You can feedback on uh, uh, any issue. But, you know, conducting feedback is also an important aspect uh, inside a classroom. So feedback, click on feedback, aid, uh, title of the feedback, this, uh, this is about you know or maybe i can write it based for faculty right and then here you will provide complete description again availability that is uh, from and to so you say it is available from march 29 up to march 30 it will be available for two days right uh, and then after submission i don't think you need to do anything else yes save and display right and then you will edit questions what question you are going to aid right so you say uh, i want to aid a multiple choice question right inside feedback it is required how is your experience of attending online classes this is the first question i want to ask from my student okay uh, it's a multiple choice <coughs> yes uh, and then here are the answers good bad poor whatever you want to write right save this question right so uh, maybe edit a question i should write control x control v, v right this is question number one this is question and that is the label save then this with this question right how is your experience and all these four options and then you want to add another, another question maybe another multiple choice i again say question number two uh, should we continue online classes multiple choice yes no yes with something right that's it and then you can save it okay uh, and then you can uh, once it is done it will be available for students right so you can see here uh, when i uploaded my feedback you can see here uh, this was my feedback about online classes uh, that uh, i have edited the way i have just told you so you can see here uh, as a student how it appears i say switch my role to the students uh, when i come back here so you can see here uh, continue okay i cannot i think this time is expired uh, this uh, this is a quick survey together remember the feedback is not open yeah i think it's time is expired uh, yeah but as a faculty member once you student have given me the feedback i can analyze see the analysis capability analyze you can see here maybe you, you want to see how it appears it will appear like this huh? uh, how do you rate your online experience this was the first question uh, do you think we should continue the second question uh, what is reason of your this question i also added this uh, open-ended 
right and then it's going to submit it uh, when they submit you want to analyze you can see here we have got this analysis so for question number one these are the answers you want to see the data so this will tell you that uh, around 15 percent is going to say excellent 37 percent said good so you can see this whole data is available here uh, data for second question 24 is one said no i mean yes 42 said no so you can see uh, and then this is the open-ended question you want to see who said what show responses you can see for each student these responses are also available right so this is how you can also gather uh, feedback about your uh, you know courses uh, there are many other things that you can do with lms i mean sky is the limit i do not want to make this video too long but these are few basic things that you should learn in order to uh, launch a course online right i can delete it from here because otherwise i'll be in trouble uh, <coughs> another very good practice that i want to share with you that i and my uh, co-teacher sir khalid and uh, sir atif did in our online course we actually shared a complete plan with our students you can see uh, when we came online the first thing that we did with our student we shared uh, this online classes detail and course plan i strongly uh, recommend all faculty members to prepare this type of plan uh, this is the plan that i made I'll, I'll be sharing this plan with you on my email right so this plan i shared with my students uh, i said that 25 marks i've already assessed face to face when they were here in theory and i said 75 marks i will be assessing through 20 in second mid 8 online quiz 8 online programming assignment 14 for course project and 25 for final exam similarly for my late part we said 15 marks we've already assessed and then 35 marks we will assess online 10 by late task 10 by second mid and 15 by final exam and then you need to give a complete plan to your, to your students so that they do not feel confused so you can see here we have made a plan for march april may and I'm, I'm planning to conduct final exam in first and second week of june so you can see final exam of theory 25 marks uh, is on wednesday june 3 and final exam of the leave is on 15 marks is on friday 5 in june and then project i have prepared a separate document that carries 14 marks right now you can see i have prepared here a week wise plan for every week for example that starts tomorrow uh, i'll be taking them packages and interfaces uh, this is the theory part class activity and this is the lab activity right inside class activity what i will be doing i as a, a teacher will be recording my video on packages and interfaces and then i will conduct a zoom session on the previous week topics on tuesday 10 to 12 right and then my lectures which i'll be recording on monday and tuesday will be available on wednesday i will be conducting a quiz from my lecture that will carry one mark right because if you see i said eight marks are from online quizzes so this one mark will be from this topic that i will be teaching in this week right and then next day i will be uh, uploading assignment number four uh, it will be a programming assignment again this will be a one mark assignment and then i expect that on saturday and sunday students are revising all these topics this is our theory part and here is our lab part uh, my lab is being conducted by sir khalid and sir Atik. sir Atik is from khairpur campus his students are also uh, now on our lms so both of them will be preparing lab tasks that lab task is available on tuesday 5 pm on lms and then uh, sir khalid will be conducting zoom session on the lab on wednesday so on Tuesday I will be on the Zoom, on Tuesday Sir Khalid will be on the Zoom and, uh, uh, and on Wednesday Sir Khalid will be on the Zoom and on Thursday uh, Sir Atif will be on the Zoom. So you can see we are almost 6 hours uh, interaction live with our student and then about 4 hours uh, recorded videos are available on LMS. And then the lab task that uh, teachers provided to them on Tuesday will be, if submission will be due on Saturday and that also carries one mark so you can see 
for each and every mark that is remaining we are saying what we are expecting you can see this column eh? um, and I'll be conducting my mid exam on 22nd of April uh, 10 marks uh, theory uh, 10 marks uh, you know VPL virtual programming lab that will be online so you can see all these remaining marks which we have to conduct uh, we have uh, given a clarity to our students right okay I end my lecture here I'm going to share uh, this course plan with you uh, with the hope that uh, you will be uh, referring it and if you have any confusion uh, you can dial me you can uh, email me uh, I'm sure you all know my email it's share at iba that is uk that's edu that is my email uh, I'm not sure I can share my number let's share 279115 so you can call me anytime if you uh, really have any confusion uh, I'll be up for that uh, thank you very much for your patient listening uh, remember when you have completed your recording you will stop a screen recording by clicking on this link thank you very much